In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to combine a line graph and a column graph, just like this one here in Microsoft Excel. As always, if you find this tutorial useful, please consider giving it a like, as it is one of the simplest ways to support the channel. Without further ado, let's jump into Excel and get started. For this example, I have the average monthly temperatures and rainfall data for Madrid in Spain. To start with, I'll create a basic column chart to show the average monthly temperatures. To do this, I will highlight my labels in the top row and the data for the average temperatures below. Then to create the column chart, I will go to insert. Then within the charts area, I will select the insert column or bar chart icon here. There are a few options to pick from, but I'll stick with the first option for this example. Now you can see a basic column chart is being created, which shows the average monthly temperatures for Madrid. What I want to do next is to add the average rainfall data onto this same graph, but have this shown as a line chart on top of my column chart. To do this, I will right click on the graph and then go to select data. On the left side where it says legend entries, I will click add. For the series name, I can simply select the cell containing my data label, which is this cell here. Alternatively, I could just type this into the box. Then for the series values, this will be the cells containing my data. So I will highlight all of my data and then press the enter key on my keyboard. Then I'll click OK and OK again. So what I have now is both sets of data as a column chart. Next, I want to change the chart representing the rainfall data, which are the orange bars in my example, from a column to a line chart. To do this, I'll right click on one of my orange chart bars and then I will select change series chart type. Within the new window, I can now change the appearance of each data set independently. For me, I'm going to change the rainfall data to align with markers. You can of course choose any type of chart you like from these drop down menus. And as you can see in the preview window, I now have a combined graph where the blue columns represent the temperature data, while the orange line with markers chart represents the average rainfall data. If, like me, your different data sets are measured in different units, then you will ideally want to add a secondary axis. So I will tick the option here to add a second y-axis for my rainfall data. This will add a new y-axis to the right. Now the left y-axis corresponds to my first data set, the average temperatures, and the right y-axis corresponds to my second data set, the average rainfall data. Finally, I'll click OK to create the graph. Now you know how to combine a line and column graph in Microsoft Excel. If you found this video useful, please leave a like. It really does help support the channel. If you've got a question, pop it down in the comments below. Also, consider subscribing for more weekly tutorials.